Welcome all of you. Today's topic is precipitation. First, I will tell you the meaning of the word precipitation. It is defined as water either in liquid or solid form which falls on the earth from the clouds. It can be in the form of rain, snow, hail or drizzle. In this video, I will explain you the three different types of rainfall. Convectional rainfall, orographic rainfall and the third one is cyclonic rainfall. First one is convectional rainfall. This type of rainfall is caused by the process of convection. The two factors which are necessary for this type of rainfall are intense heating of the surface and the abundant supply of moisture. This type of rain mostly occurs in the equatorial zone which experiences direct rays of sun almost throughout the year. Due to the intense heating of the surface, the surface air gets heated and expands and rises up conventionally. This warm air holds moisture. As it rises up, it cools adiabatically and condenses. The clouds are there. These clouds become heavier with the accumulation of water droplets. And finally, it bursts and precipitation occurs. This type of rainfall mostly occurs at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Second type of rainfall is orographic rainfall. It is also known as relief rainfall. When moisture laden winds are unable to cross the mountains, they are forced to rise up. When these moisture laden air rises up, it cools adiabatically and condenses forming clouds. Then the clouds when it becomes very heavy with the accumulation of water droplets then it finally bursts and the rainfall occurs in the this side of the mountain known as windward side. Then this air finally starts descending coming down from the other side of the slope of mountain. This air descending air is dry, cool and no moisture is left behind, so there is no rainfall on this side of the mountain. This is known as leeward side. It is also known as rain shadow area because this side of area gets very little rainfall or not at all rainfall. So this was the main mechanism of orographic rainfall. For example, in India, there is Western Ghat highland and when the moisture laden wind blows, southwest monsoon wind blow from the Arabian seaside, then the maximum rainfall gets the winds, windward side of the western ghat. Whereas there is no or very less rainfall in the leeward opposite side of the western ghat. The third type of rainfall is cyclonic rainfall. It is also known as frontal rainfall. Now the question is, what is the front? I have drawn here one single line. The front is the line where warm air meets the cold air. When warm air meets cold air, warm air being lighter are forced above the cold air. When it goes, it rises up, it cools and then finally it condenses to form the clouds. Then the clouds when it becomes heavier due to the accumulation of water droplets, it is followed by rain. Winter rainfall in northwest part of India is a typical example of cyclonic rainfall. It is always in the form of thunder shower for a very short period of time. Hope you all enjoyed the topic precipitation. If you are new to this channel then please like and subscribe. Thank you.